from the passenger car business. We're talking about General Motors, of course, and uh, all the talk about the company going bankrupt in the United States, but what happens to the Indian business just as sales are starting to go up? Well, Abhishek Gupta met with the Indian management for this report. First of all, let me say that there's, there's no uh, uh, talk as far as bankruptcy is concerned. It's not uh, something that we consider or, or even uh, think is a, a, you know, a, a long stretch belief. Well, bankruptcy may not be an option, but that could still happen unless the bailout from the US government comes in. Ironically though, here in India, the company is looking healthier than ever. Consider this. GM India has a market share of 4%, up from 3% in January this year. Its sales are growing at 18.5% year on year in the January to October period. And what's more, according to the company, books show an operating profit. GM is a global company and therefore there's a lot of interrelations uh, between different areas. But uh, uh, one of our key steps next year for GM in India is that uh, we have our powertrain which uh, starts to give us uh, that capability locally and we also have a stamping plant uh, which gives us that capability locally as well. So it's almost bittersweet after the Opel disaster just as GM India starts to get things right. Serious troubles loom for its parents. GM says it's considering a new variant of its captive ISUV and a new car, the cruise by the end of 2009 in India. In New Delhi, Abhishek Gupta, NDTV.